Hello, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Alyssa, I'm an artist. I like to talk about things like art and spirituality and dreams. Um, I also show my process of how I create um, different paintings using mixed media and acrylic paint. I have a blog as well that I talk about these sort of topics on at alyssacanichart.com. I'll leave the, the link in the description. So this week I've been just going through my drawings, deciding which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to recycle. I've grabbed some pictures that I've done that I don't like and I'm just going to respond to them and paint over them. I also found, um, I'm just really having a play today. This is the um, this is Zen Tangle book that I got for my art students back in the day when I was um, doing art classes in my studio for homeschool kids and um, I just thought I might find some designs maybe loosely use one of them to um, to kind of paint and see how I go I love this actually it's got quotes of um, different people what they say about the animals in the universe like Here's the one that I saw. This is gorgeous. Look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. A beautiful one of a stag. It's funny with uh, sketching and drawing, I, I really I find that I'm much more adept at humans because it's um, I draw a lot more humans than I do animals and so I always feel like the proportions of animals are, are really wonky in comparison. Anyway, I might do, I might follow this iguana. We'll see how we go. First, get my paints out. I'm painting over oil pastel, so, um, which is fine as long as you use a heavy enough paint and I'm very happy for the oil pastel to show through in the, um, in the marks that I'm making here. I'm using Indian ink, coloured Indian ink to make those red splotches. And also I primed the paper with um, dioxazane purple. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I probably butchered it. And the two colors that I've mixed here to make that unusual green is Indian yellow and I've got Pacific blue, which is a very, very purpley, lavendery sort of blue. Um, but it makes a really nice, um, bright yet fairly olivey kind of green. So I'm really liking that and I think I used a lot of um, fluoro colours as well as just to glaze over the top of things and um, in I used a little bit of um, turquoise blue as well.
the color around his eyes is a magenta mixed with a cool yellow so I'm having a lot of fun with colors and I do change it quite a bit as you can see here I'm just loving scratching into that paint I, I find it so whimsical and gives so much texture So yesterday I was using this canvas as a palette when I was working on, let me show you, this painting. Um, these are the canvases, they're just, you know, just small um, 40 times 50 um, centimetres. I just use it as a palette so you can see some of the palette colors underneath and just in there. I use these um, fluoro colors to um, just put a wash over the, the top and that's what you can see there. I'll show you what they look like. This is fluoro pink so it's very transparent. So I'm just using that as I don't know. We'll see if it kind of shows through and what happens. Okay, hopefully that is in frame very well. Just got a um, a little reference of peonies, but I'm really not wanting to um, make these really realistic. I, I want it to just be loose and just playing around. I have just a reference on my tablet of um, peonies and I'm working from it just loosely just to really is something to look at because I want to have a balance between semi-realistic flowers and abstracted sort of geometrical patterns if that makes sense that's what I had loosely in my mind and I just wanted to keep the brush strokes really expressive and free
Okay, I think it's finished. I changed it quite a bit. I've um, added that sort of doily because um, I thought it needed a little bit of uh, softness, softening, and this was too much. It was all kind of distracting from the flowers. So I wanted the flowers to be the main focal point and I wanted um, the, just that sort of juxtaposition of the geometric-ish shapes with the organic ones as well so yeah anyway as always it's it's for me I just didn't want to be attached to the outcome so I was really just wanting to have a play but I'll show you closer um, some of the marks that I made <laughs> So much for watching if you watch this far and whatever you're doing today i hope you have a lovely day or evening or wherever you're at in your day bye